Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First, we have to drag the static structure analysis for apply the predefined stress for linear buckling analysis. Go to the engineering data first of all and specify the material in your data resources. Set the generated material type, add the material to the library based upon your requirement. After that, just return to the project. Then go to the geometry. New model window is open. Select a plane which you want to sketch and go to the sketching. Select a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Then draw a circle at both ends for the required dimensions. We need to draw one more circle at the another end. After the just extrude the component for the required amount of depth. At last click the generate. Now the port is created. Then select the corresponding face which you want to sketch. For make a second port. Draw a circle, give the corresponding dimensions based upon your requirement. Then give the constraints between the two circles as a concentric. The constraints cannot be applied so we have to try any different way just delete the sketch then try it from first go to the modeling delete a circle which we draw previously then again select the corresponding faces then draw a circle again Give the corresponding dimensions based upon your requirement. Then just click extrude. Make sure you have to make a reverse direction and then operation by add frozen. After that just click generate. Now the frozen material is created. Then go to the model. Just select a geometry in your project tree. Specify the material which we add in your library. Then go to the meshes, click generate mesh. In your connections, we have to specify that contact systems formulation must be in a MPC after that you have to go for analysis setting in analysis setting we have to specify the supports and loads first we have to give the support such as a cylindrical support at the one end apply the corresponding geometry make it tangential free then give you a displacement support at another end for the part 2 give the displacement value in terms of components again we have to specify the loads at a one end give the corresponding magnitude value in terms of component after that go to the solutions give the solution for total deformation Just solve the project. Now the result is successfully created. Just you have to 
drag the linear buckling analysis to the solution of static structural analysis then go to the setup here we need to specify only the solutions in a linear buckling analysis we need not to specify any loads or supports in linear buckling analysis because we are already specified in static structural analysis so that is not necessary to specify the loads and supports in linear buckling analysis just we have to play the animation video of the result in linear buckling analysis give that more number of total deformations and specify the number of mode value in analysis setting of linear buckling we have to specify the mode value as 3 and then we have a 3 deformations total deformation 1 2 and 3 we get a 3 types of total deformation solutions just played with animation video you can uh, make sure that yeah, there is a difference between the solution of static structure analysis and linear buckling analysis you can play the different solution in linear buckling analysis by the different mode values to get the regular updates of my video please subscribe in my channel don't forget to like and share inshallah we will meet in next video Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.